What's up guys? So when we are talking about technique and form in powerlifting, we need to make a little bit of a distinction because although technique and form are talking about similar things, in my mind at least, they are different. So if we're talking about technique, technique is going to be the strategy that you're using while you're moving the barbell, whereas form is gonna be the physical expression of what that strategy looks like with your strengths, weaknesses, positioning, and anatomy. So when it comes to technique itself, from lifter to lifter, I believe that the strategy that they should use shouldn't differ that greatly, but the expression of that strategy in their form should and will vary with their anatomy, with their leverages, with how they are positioning themselves on the barbell, under the barbell, and around the barbell. And what I mean by that, it might sound a little bit wonky thinking that technique should be relatively universal from lifter to lifter, but the technique principles that I'm really worried about aren't going to be leverage dependent, proportion dependent, or strength weakness dependent. And when I'm talking about principles like that that aren't gonna be dependent on your leverages, I'm talking about things like how you are setting your brace, how you are creating tension with the barbell, how you're taking the slack to the bar on a deadlift. Those things won't really change with your leverages, but how you make those things happen will change and the expression of those things happening will change based on how you're built, where you're strong, and it's going to make the lift look different from person to person. Because if you have, say, longer legs and a shorter torso to me on your squat, you're going to end up more bent over and less upright than I will just because of the proportions. But that doesn't mean that how you're getting tight to your upper back or how you're setting your brace should be any different. How you're moving with those strategies will be different though because of how you're built. Same thing with bench. You might grip the bar closer, you might grip the bar wider. It might be more advantageous for your leverage and strength wise to tuck more. It might be more advantageous to bench with a bigger flare. But regardless of your tuck, regardless of your flare, you're still going to be trying to create as much upper back tension and using that bar to help you create that tension during the bench press. How the bench looks though, could be different from lifter to lifter, proportion to proportion. Similar thing with deadlift, conventional and sumo. Conventional and sumo, yes, the stance will be so different. What is actually moving the weight will be different, but the idea of kind of extending through the T-spine to pull slack out of the bar, driving through the floor to initiate the pull, that's still going to be the same regardless of what the form ends up looking like. So guys, technique, form, we're talking about similar things, but technique is gonna be your intent. Form is how you express that intent with your body, with your strengths, with your leverages. And if you guys want me to check out your technique, check out your form, hit me up, sign the DMs, or just book an appointment on activatedperformance.jnap.com.